Obito B. Buhari never won the presidency or to form the alliance with the Southwest Obiora Okonkwo. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post hot juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. Ahead of the 2023 presidential election, a member of the People's Democratic Party presidential campaign council, Professor Obiora Okonkwo, has recorded and claimed that Buhari that Muhammad Buhari, the sitting president, would not have won the election if he did not go into an alliance with the South West to team up with Tunibu and others. According to Obiaro Kong, Kwapi Tobi, with all his popularity today, will not be able to win an election on his own state without a structure and spread required to win a presidential election. Obiaro Kong revealed that with all the massive votes Buhari was getting in the elections, he was not able to win the election until he decided to shun regional politics. Obiara stressed that the South East can only get a chance at the presidency using a structure like the People's Democratic Party. Obiara Okonkwa stated, once upon a time, Buhari was so popular. He has his millions, 12, 13 million votes, but he has never won except the point he was going to go into alliance with the Southwest. So you are saying PDP is the only platform for, a, for the South Easterners. But what happened to your PDP? Why didn't they give the South is such an opportunity. Oga, na wala, na talk, na you define so. Na talk, you won't talk. And you go receive them. <laughs> okay. Obedience movement is different from that of Buhari contesting so many times. Buhari was, was only popular in the northeast, not east ke. Not west and not northeast. Peter B. case is different. 70% of Nigerians love him, especially the youth. Don't say that too. Buhari was popular in the northwest. Hmm? Not just notice. Is Buhari from northeast? <laughs> He's not from northeast. He's from northwest, please. Hmm? Kassina State is, you know, is among the northwestern state. It's the great Afeni very different from Yoruba people. Most of would be supporters are the elders and youth from Yoruba land that have the interest of Nigeria as heart. Anyone from Yoruba land that supports ba um, Bola Metunabu and Atiku are those that have been paid or manipulated by some kind of fake promises. Hmm. Okay. Um, so you think that you're about to leave your son and support you. Hmm. That's the problem one of all, all of us are having. That's the problem all of us are having. So let the election come. If Tenobu is not going to win the whole Southwest. You thought Peter can win any state in Yoruba land, right? Okay. From the onset, you, you people are the problem of this nation. You can betray. You cannot be trusted. Nepotism and envy is in your blood. So becoming a president is now a game of tribalism. God forbid. Okay. Which son are you talking about? You just want to sell your children's future because of tribalism. I think this is why the Igbos are different. Okay. Which they, which they own, is it an old diamond that is supposed to be grateful to God for old agents to be resting that is their own? I beg, make on leave me. I beg, I never want to laugh, make I. I never want to choke on my laughter. Is this a tribal election, please? Can we all leave our sentimental dragon and focus on who will lead us out of the pits? <laughs> Maybe small pits. Out of the pits that the all progressive government has plunged us into? Let us scrutinize and reason well and cast our vote without regret. It's about the well-being of the Igbo, Hausa, and Yoruba people. We are breathing the same air, facing the same hardship at, at all. The question is, who will build the cat? Let our conscience guide us right. Please stop the tribal fight. Now, this thing, I don't talk tire. Do not vote on the line of... Do you, do, do you think if you vote on the line of tribalism and ethnicism that it is going to be better for you? I said it before. Have you ever gone into any place you want to pick something? They said, oh, you have been given even 2% discount because you're from the Southwest. There's nothing like that. Have you ever gone to anywhere and you say, oh, you'll be given 5 or 10 or 15 or 20% discount for anything? No. Not at all. But you want other regions to leave their own son and support your tunnel. <laughs> My goodness. My goodness. Okay. It is a mistake having people among us in Nigeria. You try black home training. You attain anybody that don't support your obedience movement. Your eyes will sound clear. So you are calling the Southeasterners, you know, a mistake.
really, because of election. Now, some people are not catching the joke. I've said it severally. Have you gone anywhere and they told you, oh, eh, because uh, you are this, you are from this tribe, take this particular discount. But yet, our women, we go to different marketers. We, you go go market, when they complain to each other. Nobody do with that. We know they talk to each other. When it comes to election, we go do eyes right, eyes right. But when it comes to waiting the effect of the consequences, we bear it together. We complain to each other about it. How school fees used don't increase. How the house rent don't increase too. How the, which other one again, the groceries in the market is not expensive. But when it comes to voting, you will now see us trying to play smart. That is why sometimes they don't understand us. We will prefer complaining to one another, but we are not going to be willing to look for a solution together. Nigerians, so if we not get brain this time, make we go borrow. Make we go borrow because <laughs> if we put in somebody who is not in any way has any relationship with us because there are people who they have a relationship with us. Somebody who wants to just go there, carry his leg up and be served. You don't done for us so. As in that food, we no go feed it and finish. Even in the next eat we never chop we never chop the sofa we follow. Ha I say make I tell us so. Okay, you people are the problem in this country. Nepotism and envy is a problem and you can betray. At your age, tribalism is eating you up. When we Igbos voted for OBJ, was he an evil man? Was Shiradu an evil man or Jonathan an evil man? Why won't I allow the Igbos to rule and see if we want to better the country? Well, others hate for Igbos. We lack home training. <laughs> my goodness. Okay, you never reach fire to make a blood no go splash for my own body, you, I beg. Mr. Biara is still living in the past where alliances are built on tribal and ethnic biases. Many pundits who depend on those outdated parameters will be shocked at the outcome of the 2023 election. Let me give you a recent example. In America, there is a common belief that the ruling party will always lose the midterm election and the position party went to town with glee announcing what they will do after winning an election that is yet to come. They are all witnesses to the result. The opposition party was thoroughly humbled by the results. The singular reason for this was the outcome was attributed to a new crop of voters called the Gen Z. In Nigeria today, this same set of electors will change the face of politics forever. That is what Ms. Obiara is oblivious of. Well, this us watch things of votes, but remember, please vote wisely. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. And so I come you next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.